Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our 2013 NFL Draft Grade Special for the Jacksonville Jaguars. We're going to take a look at every last selection the Jags made this past April, as well as some undrafted free agents that you want to keep an eye on. Contrary to popular belief, the Jaguars are not a bad football team, and when you look at their 2013 draft selections, they've gotten better in a lot of spots, especially on defense. When you look at Jonathan Cyprian out of Florida International, he's one of these new age strong safeties that can get out there and match up one-on-one -on -one with the tight end. Also, he's a very sound tackler, and I'm a big fan of Dwayne Gratz out of UConn. I look at what he brings to the table, instinctive, smart, and always around the football. Josh Evans, another guy out of Florida, very good football player on the back end. He'll be a free safety. And Demetrius McCray out of Appalachian State, we covered him a lot here at Football Game Plan covering the SOCON. He's going to be a fine player and helps fill the depth role on their defense. Now, what I like most about the Jags draft, taking Luke Joker makes a lot of sense. When you look at their front side protection last season, it was atrocious. So why not bring in one of the top tackles in the country? And Luke Joker helps solidify the bookends on your offensive line. Definitely makes a lot of sense. Gives your quarterback a chance back there in the pocket. And when you look at Ace Sanders out of South Carolina, he's another one of these guys that you could tell played a lot of football growing up. Despite his size, he's mastered the little nuances of playing the receiver position and is definitely an explosive playmaker, adds a different element to the Jags offense. And speaking of adding explosive playmakers on offense, I love the Denar Robinson selection in the fifth round. You look at a guy who's listed as a running back or a wide receiver, I think his best fit is at wide receiver. You look at what he was able to do at Michigan, a lot of his big plays came from broken field running. So I don't think he has the natural vision to be an every down running back. You can create those situations in the passing game with bubble screens, quick screens, jet sweeps. I think that can have a huge impact on that Jags offense and give them more firepower week in, week out. The one thing I didn't like about the Jags draft is sitting there with the first pick in the second round and an opportunity to take Geno Smith, who's the number one rated quarterback in this class. They passed on him. I think they should have taken him. That would have upgraded the quarterback position instantly. Blaine Gabbert is not a starting quarterback, and if they would have selected Geno Smith along with Luke Jokel, you've given yourself a chance offensively. Remember, this is not a bad football team. They do have some offensive weapons with Jones, Drew. You also look at Mercedes Lewis, Justin Blackman, Cecil Shorts. You look at the talent they have on the roster. They need a quarterback that can step in and make plays in the passing game. That's where I think they missed in the draft. The Jags have a few undrafted free agents that could surprise and make the roster. You look at Ryan Otten out of San Jose State, one of my favorite prospects in the draft. Surprised me that he went undrafted. Athletic tight end, a guy that definitely has the soft hands that you want. He's your ideal number two tight end. I think he'll fit nice as a compliment to Mercedes Lewis. I'm also a big fan of Lonnie Pryor out of Florida State. This guy has Larry Center's like ability. He can line up as a tailback in a one back situation. Also can catch the football very well out of the backfield, but is definitely a good blocker. That's what you want out of a fullback, especially the fullbacks this day and age. They're replacing Greg Jones. This would be a great fit for Jacksonville. And Willie Carter out of Tulsa may not be of the caliber of Willie Clay that plays for the Dolphins, but definitely has the same type of H-back ability. A guy that can catch the football out of the backfield, big physical running near the goal line as well. So you can get creative in your offensive packages. I love this selection or this undrafted signing by the Jaguars. I'm giving the Jags a B- minus for their draft. Overall, they had a solid draft you look at guys like grass could come in and start from day one Cyprian can come in and also start from day one joker will be a starter from day one ace sanders and also denar robertson add some explosiveness to the offense but not getting a quarterback when you had an opportunity to get the best one on the board is the reason why i knocked this grade down from a b plus to a b minus or a minus to a b minus but overall the jacks again still added some very valuable weapons and i also want to give a huge shout out to jaguar fan forums for always showing football game plan support